Hello everyone, I am the Pumpkin Dub. Today I am playing World of Warships again. Uh, you'll tend to see me playing this a lot. I am in the Tier 8 battleship, the Bismarck. Uh, when I start a game, I tend to like to sit back a little bit. Uh, just to see where everyone goes. You can see me here trying to suss out where everyone's going to go, what battleships I'm going to have to deal with, so on and so forth. At this point I was grinding the battleships on the German line mainly because I wanted the Grosser Kerr first uh, and I didn't really get on well with the Frederick de Grosser, uh, the tier 9 battleship, I don't know why, uh, it's just the way it played I guess, uh, it didn't do as well in my opinion as the Bismarck does, because uh, the Bismarck is just really strong for its tier, it can go up against tier 10 battleships for example like the Montana and come off pretty well due to its incredible armor and its guns are very good in a brawl especially because of its secondaries. Its secondaries stretch out to 10.6 kilometers so anything that comes in to contact with them tends to uh, be set on fire and get deleted a little bit. Uh, now we see a lot of uh, our ships moving up especially this North Carolina and a few cruisers and there's a Tirpitz over there just popped into view. I'll probably have a go at that in a second. Um, I'll he I'm heading towards B just mainly because I never like hanging around the sea area just because of all of the islands. You can get talked very very easily. Uh, Tirpitz is just out of range for the moment. I think that was the North Carolina having a go. Seemed to have missed, didn't really do much. Shots out. Now these guns are not very good at range, that's what they say anyway, sometimes you can get incredibly lucky, I missed them, but that was more of a potluck type of thing. I see the rounds coming towards me, I am take one in the side, but great armour means I don't really get citadeled in the German battleships. North Carolina, nope, Tirpitz gives a better broadside target, leave the target and give it a shot. Yeah, and they're not very good at range, but sometimes this happens. <laughs> Three pens, one over pen, 12,000 damage, I don't mind that. Uh, I angle in just to reduce incoming fire, as you can see the Tirpitz is giving me a go now. Angle myself in to reduce damage, uh, trying to screw up his aim. Shots out on the North Carolina. He's angled though, so you're not going to get much. Nah, just a ricochet. Now at this point, I can see on the minimap around a point there's quite a lot of ships, and our ships don't seem to be pushing in enough. So I'm going to start going that way now. I think at this point I was actually going after Russian kills for some uh, challenge or something, so I focus on that Kurtzkov. <laughs> now I've looked at that a couple of times and it looked to me only one hit, but apparently one another one did at some point, so it's a good enough strike. That one I led too much, I was expecting him to turn, so it just, obviously it missed. Shots out on the enemy Bismarck. Oh, got an incapacitation of some sort. It might have been a turret, I expect. I took a blind shot at that uh, Kurtzkov there. You never know what's going to happen. You might hit it in the side. By the looks of it, they weren't that far off. But nonetheless, they miss. I wasn't expecting them to hit. Another shot at that Bismarck. That Bismarck is going to push in and find himself in a lot of shit in a minute. Uh, nice defending there. Now this really annoyed me, kinda. Uh, this is a good example of what the dispersion can be like on battleships at range. N that cruiser, not doing anything. German cruiser. Just sitting there. 
perfectly aimed at the waterline, and they all drop short. <laughs> Second value, I think. Okay, this this lot can't last. And I got got one hit, three thousand damage. I didn't mind that at all. Come on, this time, this time, let us get that citadel, that magic citadel. I bet. Come on, come on, RNGesus. Uh, no, RNGesus hates me today. <laughs> uh, uh, at this point, I think I'm never going to hit that guy. Think about going for the Takao, the R ARP Takao. Mm, no, he's out of range. Aha, who's this? Am I going to have a go? Mm, he's going away. He's. Nah. Nah, I'll go for something else. Go back for that Kurzkov again. I'm determined to get him. He's broadside on. What's the worst that could happen? See, this Bismarck, this is what I mean. He is coming out and he's got one, two, three, four ships to deal with and me. He has got air support, but they can be cut down quite quickly. I hold control, select the Bismarck to use my secondaries. I didn't take into account that he was turning away there, that could have been a better hit. Just aim slightly above the water level because that's where the armour is thinner on the Bismarck. If you hit them right in the belt they tend to shatter, they don't pen as much. But if you aim just above that, just where the deck and the belt armour meet, you should get a better result. I get a bit greedy here and try and get a kill. But... Now I'm on fire, there's no point putting out one fire as a battleship, you can soak up the damage. And fire damage is 100% repairable. That's some torpedoes from the friendly Takao? Or Mioka? What was it? <laughs> oh. Now this is where it annoys me. This I don't know what this Turpitz is aiming at. No idea what he's aiming at with those torpedoes. Because they're just going to run out. They have a 6 kilometer. I think it's six kilometer range, and these ships are way off. If I had kept going, I would have been hit by them. Yeah, if you don't do it once, you never learn anything. I think this uh, enemy buyer now thinks, crap, I'm a bit outnumbered. My secondaries start opening up. Just look at that fire. Just the rate of fire that these things fire at. The smaller caliber ones fire at nothing and they reload at 2.9 seconds, which is ridiculous. He... And there he goes. At this point, I'm thinking there's the thing around. I know there's a couple of cruisers around, but apart from that, I might as well go and jump in there, try and cap myself. These ships do very well at brawling, so if anything comes in close to me, I have the armor to deal with them. And that Bismarck's going to be a bit of a trouble coming off my left here. Fiji just popping, popping itself down out there I think. Fair enough, I don't mind having a quick go here side. British cruisers not known for their armour. There you go. <laughs> uh, I wasn't really paying attention here, I didn't see those torpedoes coming. But luckily, the carrier has sent his fires over, so the dispersion of those torpedoes goes wild, and I managed to dodge them. The, later on, you'll see that carrier did very, very well. I do compliment him. Oh, is that Takao again? Try and turn to get all my guns into action. Can I get a Citadel? No, it doesn't like me when it's broadside on. RNG's. Jesus. Boat Jesus does not protect. Maybe this time? Still full broadside? Come on, come on. Ah, still nothing. A couple of them drop short, I think, there. Come on, this time. Yeah, there we go. Much better. <laughs> uh, I'm now turning away because I'm getting burnt down a bit. I might as well go and deal with these other ones. See those torpedoes? I, didn't, I knew he would fire them at some point. 
Now I'm gonna t I'm turning out mainly because the Turpus has followed me in, so he can deal with that Takao. The Fiji got talked by the carrier, which is always good. Now at this point, so I go for the Kurtzkov. <laughs> There you go, nice old citadel. And I forgot to angle him because I was too eager for the kill. But I came away okay with that. Now the Kurtzakov has some pretty decent guns, they like to burn you down. Uh, so I think, do you know what, I'm just going to angle up to this Bismarck because he's going to hit me hard with all of his guns and I'm just going to take out the Kurtzakov first. Hmm. Two of those shots seem to go in a different postcode. Did you see that? Mm, surprising if they came out the same gun. Right, this time. Torpedoes, don't have to worry about them. From nowhere. Still angling towards the Bismarck. Trying to finish this Kurtzkov. See, I've lost a lot of health just by being burnt down and shot out by both of these ships. And there we go. Killed him. Now... <laughs> Uh, you might have guessed this already, but I'm not going to kill him with my guns. <laughs> uh, ramming speed. <laughs> I think at this point this Bismarck actually knows what I'm going to do. <laughs> uh, oh, my, my guns are nearly reloaded. Oh, nice 15,000 damage. Uh, get him. Get him. Uh, he nearly gets away with it as well, but... <laughs> uh, and that gets me the high caliber. Go over to the Leander. They actually play very well. I think I gave them a compliment. There you go. Uh, Carrier's got another kill. Let's pop over to the Turpits. Pretty much doing nothing. I think he's just going after the Carrier at this point. Their carrier is putting up a good fight. I think he's trying to take out this Leander with his torpedo bombers. As you can see on the mini map, uh, the carrier already has some fighters are coming to cover him. He gets those three off, but they're going to miss. He's already turned. He knew that they were going to be dropped. Some fire coming from a cruiser. Oh, it's Nuremberg. So this is a good play by both of them now. Here, the Leander and the carrier. Not bad. Sends off his torpedoes. He is a bit broadside onto this target, but apparently they're not very good shot. Ooh, it's a nice little hit on the side. He sees those torpedoes coming. Leander is angling as best you can in a British cruiser. Ow, that one hurt. <laughs> Straight in the side. thing is when the carrier comes along and takes out the other cruiser. That's his torpedoes. They're, they're going to miss. They have a, only a 6 kilometer range anyway. Uh, he has both of them, so you know it's not the upgraded uh, hull. There you go, Carrier takes out. <laughs> oh, he does very well. And he's down as well. Now, this gets very boring as they just hunt down the Carrier, so I'm going to skip ahead. Uh, torpedo, does it finish him off? No, but the flooding might. And there he goes. Well, that was a very fun game for me. I feel a little bit sorry about that Bismarck. 
not so sorry. He should have seen the ram coming. Ah, oh, it wasn't bad. 320,000 credits earned, 6,800 experience. I got the high caliber, two kills, 167,000 damage. Uh, the end score was pretty much just down to the ram. Don't forget to subscribe, like, leave a comment, whatever you want, you don't have to. Uh, <laughs> uh, if you want to see more videos, just let me know. Uh, have a great day, guys.